Shalom, welcome to Tactically Torah. I am Heath Hayes. Today is day 62 of Read the Bible in a Year. We're in Deuteronomy chapters 11 through 13. Let's get started. And you shall love Yahweh your Elohim and guard his charge, even his laws and his right rulings and his commands always. And you shall know today for it is not your children who have not known and who have not seen the discipline of Yahweh your Elohim, his greatness, his strong hand and his outstretched arm, and his signs and his works which he had done in the midst of Mitzrayim, to Pharaoh, sovereign of Mitzrayim, and to all his land. And that which he had done to the army of Mitzrayim, to their horses and their chariots, when he made the waters of the sea of reeds overflow as they pursued you, and how Yahweh has destroyed them to this day. And what he had done for you in the wilderness till you come to this place. And what he had done to Dathan and Eberon. Sons of Eliab, son of Reuben. When the earth opened its mouth. And swallowed them up in their households and their tents. And the living creatures that were in their possessions. In the midst of all of Israel. For yours are the eyes that saw all the great work of Yahuwah, which he did. And you shall guard every command which I command you today, so that you are strong, and shall go in, and shall possess the land which you are possessing over to possess, and to prolong your days in the land which Yahuwah swore to give your fathers to them, and their descendants, and a land flowing with milk and honey. The land which you are going in to possess is not like the land of Mitzrayim from which you have come, where you were, where you sowed your seed and watered it by foot as a vegetable garden. But the land which you are passing over to possess is a land of hills and valleys which drinks from drinks water from the rain of the heavens, a land which Yahweh your Elohim looks after. The eyes of Yahweh your Elohim are always on it. From the beginning of the year to the latter end of the year. And it shall be that if you diligently obey my commands, which I command you today, to love Yahweh your Elohim and to serve him with all your heart and with all your being, then I shall give you the rain for your land in its season, and the early rain and the latter rain, and you shall gather in your grain and your new wine and your oil. And I shall give grass in your fields for your livestock, and you shall eat and be satisfied. Guard yourselves, lest your heart be deceived. And you turn aside and serve other mighty ones, and bow down to them. Then the displeasure of Yahweh shall burn against you, and he shall shut up the heavens, and there shall be no rain in the land, and not give its increase. And you shall perish quickly from the good land which Yahweh is giving you. And you shall lay up these words of mine in your heart and your being, and shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. And you shall teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up, and shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, so that your days and, your, the, and the days of your children are increased in the soil of which Yahuwah swore to your fathers to give them as the days of the heavens on the earth. For if you diligently guard all these commands which I command you to do it, to love Yahuwah your Elohim, to walk in all his ways and to cling to him, then Yahuwah shall drive out all of these nations before you and you shall dispossess greater and stronger nations than you. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads is yours. From the wilderness and Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even the western sea is your border. No man shall stand against you. Yahweh your Elohim shall put the dread. Yah, no man shall stand against you. Yahweh your Elohim shall put the dread of you and the fear of you upon the land where you tread as he has spoken to you. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. 
the blessing when you obey the commands of Yahweh your Elohim, which I command you today, and the curse if you do not obey the commands of Yahweh your Elohim, but turn aside from the way which I command you today to go after other mighty ones which you have not known. And it shall be when Yahweh your Elohim has brought you into the land which you go to possess that you shall put the blessing on Mount Gerizim and the curse on Mount Ebal. Are they not beyond the garden, the, the Jordan, <coughs> toward the setting sun in the land of the Canaanites who dwell in the desert plain opposite Gilgal beside the terebinth trees of Moreh? For you are passing over the Yarden to go in to possess the land which Yahweh your Elohim is giving you. And you shall possess it and dwell in it and shall guard to do all the laws and the right rulings which I am setting before you today. <coughs> Chapter 12. These are the laws and the right rulings in which you guard to do in the land which Yahweh your Elohim the Elohim of your fathers is giving you to possess all the days that you live on the soil. Completely destroy all the places where the nations which you, dis which you are dispossessing serve their mighty ones. On the high mountains and on the hills and under every green tree, you shall break down their slaughter places and smash their pillars and burn their asherim with fire. And you shall cut down the carved images of their mighty ones and shall destroy their name out of that place. Do not do so to Yahweh your Elohim. But seek the place which Yahweh your Elohim chooses out of all your tribes to put his name there for his dwelling place. And there you shall enter. And there you shall take your ascending offerings and your slaughters and your tithes and your contributions of your hand and your vowed offerings, and your voluntary offerings, and the firstlings of your herd and of your flock. And there you shall eat before Yahweh your Elohim, and shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your households in which Yahweh your Elohim has blessed you. Do not do as we are doing here today, each one doing whatever is right in his own eyes, because you have not yet entered the rest and the inheritance which Yahweh your Elohim is giving you. But you shall pass over the Jordan and shall dwell in the land which Yahweh your Elohim is giving you to inherit and he shall give, give you rest from all your enemies round about and you shall dwell in safety. And it shall be that unto the place which Yahweh your Elohim chooses to make his name dwell there there you are to bring that all that I command you. Your ascending offerings and your slaughters and your tithes and your contributions of your hand and all your choice offerings which you vow to Yahweh. And you shall rejoice before Yahweh your Elohim, you and your sons and your daughters and your male servants and your female servants and the Levite who is within your gates since he has no portion nor inheritance with you. Guard yourself that you do not offer your ascending offerings in every place that you see except in the place which Yahweh chooses. In one of your tribes, there you are to offer your ascending offerings, and there you are to do all that I command you. Only whatever your being desires you shall slaughter to eat, According, according to the blessing of Yahweh your Elohim, which he has given you within all your gates, the unclean and the clean, you do eat of it of the gazelle and the deer alike. <coughs> Only the blood you do not eat, pour it on the earth like water. Sorry. <clears throat> you are not allowed to eat within your gates the tithe of your grain or of your new wine or of your oil 
or of the firstlings of your herd or your flock or of any of your offerings which you vow or of your voluntary offerings or of the contribution of your hand but eat them before Yahweh your Elohim in the place which Yahweh your Elohim chooses you and your son and your daughter and your male servant and your female servant and the Levite who is within your gates and you shall rejoice before Yahweh your Elohim in all that you put your hands to <coughs> guard yourself that you do not forsake the Levite as long as you live in your land when Yahweh your Elohim enlarges your border as he has promised you and you say let me eat meat because you long to eat meat and you eat as much meat as your being desires. When the place where Yahweh your Elohim chooses to put his name is too far from you, then you shall slaughter from your herd and from your flock which Yahweh has given you, as I have commanded you, and you shall eat within your gates as much as your being desires. <coughs> Only as the gazelle and the deer are eaten, so you are to eat of it the unclean and the clean alike of it. Only be strong not to eat the blood, for the blood is the life, and do not eat the life with the meat. Do not eat it. You pour it on the earth like water. Do not eat it, that it may dwell, that it may be well with you, and your children after you when you do what is right in the eyes of Yahweh. Only the set-apart gifts which you have and your vowed offerings you are to take up and to go to the place which Yahweh chooses. And you shall make your ascending offerings the meat and the blood and the slaughter place of Yahweh your Elohim and the blood of your slaughterings is poured out on the slaughter place of Yahweh before Elo Yahweh your Elohim and you eat the meat. Guard and obey all these words which I command you, that it might be well with you and your children uh, after, after you forever. When you do what is good and right in the eyes of Yahweh your Elohim, when, you're out, when Yahweh your Elohim does cut off from before you the nations which you go to dispossess, and you dispossess them and dwell in their land, guard yourself that you are not ensnared to follow them after they are destroyed from before you and that you do not inquire about the mighty ones saying how did these nations serve their mighty ones and let me do so too <coughs> do not do so to Yahweh your Elohim for every abomination which Yahweh hates they have done to their mighty ones for they even burn their sons and their daughters in the fire to their mighty ones all the words i am commanding you guard to do it do not add to it nor take away from it chapter 13 when there arises among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams and he shall give you a sign or a wonder and the sign or wonder shall come true of which he has spoken to you saying, Let us go after other mighty ones, which you have not known, and serve them? <clears throat> Do not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for Yahweh your Elohim is trying you to know whether you love your Elohim with all your heart and with all your being. Walk after Yahweh your Elohim and fear him, and guard his commands and obey his voice, and serve him and cling to him. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams is put to death because he has spoken apostasy against Yahweh your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim and ransomed you from the house of bondage to take you, take you stray from the way in which Yahweh your Elohim commanded you to walk. <laughs> Thus you shall purge the evil from your midst. When your brother, the son of your mother, your son or your daughter or the wife of your bosom or your friend who is 
your own being entices you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other mighty ones, which you have not knew, known, neither you nor your fathers, of the mighty ones of the people which are all around you, near you, or far off from you, from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. Do not agree with him or listen to him, nor shall your eye pardon him, nor spare him, nor conceal him. But you shall certainly kill him. Your hand is first against him to put him to death. Afterward, the hand of the people. Afterward, the hand of all the people. And you shall stone him with stones until he dies. Because he sought to entice you away from Yahweh your Elohim. Who brought you out of the land of Mitzrayim from the house of bondage. And let all Israel hear and fear and not again do any such evil matter as this is in your midst. <coughs> when you hear someone in one of your cities, which Yahweh your Elohim gives you to dwell in, saying, Some men, sons of Belial, have gone out of your midst and led the inhabitants of their city astray, saying, Let us go and serve other mighty ones, mighty ones whom you have not known. Then you shall inquire, search out, and ask diligently, and see if the matter is true and established that this abomination was done in your midst. You shall certainly strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, putting it under the ban and all that is in it and its livestock with the edge of the sword and gather all of its plunder into the middle of the street and completely burn with fire the city and all its plunder before Yahweh your Elohim and it shall be a heap forever never to be built again and none of that which is put under the ban is to cling to your hand so that Yahweh turns from the fierceness of his displeasure and shall show you compassion, love you, and increase you as he swore to your fathers. When you obey the voice of Yahweh your Elohim to guard all his commands which I command you today to do what is right in the eyes of Yahweh your Elohim. All right, that's Deuteronomy 11 through 13. Shalom.